Hello, hi, Namaskara. I am Rishabh Chatterjee and today we will be going to a pop-up event by a company called Touche Electric. Touche Electric is basically a company from Mysore. So the name does not sound very Indian but it's actually a company from Mysore, so Namma Karnataka. And this company was basically the main team that is involved in this uh, company. They were also the one who were involved in this Trin Trin. Actually, it's a public bike sharing system that was introduced in Mysore a few years back. So if you are from Mysore, you will already know about it. So the, the team behind this company was the one who introduced there in Mysore that is very popular. So recently they introduced this bike called Helio Bikes. Uh, it's a three uh, different uh, power bikes they call for three different purposes. So we'll try to understand one by one about each bike and how is it like for what purpose is it made. Hi, I'm Asha from Touch and I'm part of uh, the customer relations team uh, for Touch. And uh, here is my team, let me introduce them. Uh, this is Mahesh, uh, this is Shashi Kumar, and uh, this is our uh, chief bike expert. Uh, he is Abu Bakar, uh, very popularly known as Lalu. And that's Neha, and that is uh, Govardhan. Hi. M100 is the base version uh, mountain bike, suitable for off-roading as well as uh, city riding. This comes with a 17-inch uh, aluminium alloy frame, 250-watt uh, BLDC motor, 10.4 AH uh, uh, lithium-ion detachable battery. The model M100 mm -hmm. uh, is on the power supply. It's on the linking. After that, it's written the high speed, high speed written, normal, low, medium. We can change it with the speed. We can increase the speed. Mm -hmm. और बिना चाहिए तो स्पीड कम कर कर स्टॉप कर कर नॉर्मल से कभी चला सकते हैं इसमें और ये क्या कट गया टॉटल लाइ ऑल राइट सो आई बीन राइडिंग द एम 100 फॉर सम टाइम सो हियर आई हैव द एम 100 सो फर्स्ट इम्प्रेशंस लाइक राइडिंग व्हाट डू आई फील First of all, it's very different experience because normally I've ridden a cycle and I've ridden a scooter. But this is like a middle one where it, it feels like a cycle. But when you start pedaling, that assist starts coming and then like you don't have to put that much pressure while pedaling. As well as if you don't want to pedal also, you can just leave the pedal and keep the cycle keeps on going. Now the speed is pretty much the same for all the three uh, bikes that I've shown you. It goes max till 25. And if you are on pedal assist, then it goes slightly more. So that's pretty decent speed for the city. And uh, first, uh, I really enjoyed riding this. Now this one, this bike is mainly for, suppose your height uh, is less, let's say five to around that height for that people or kids or for uh, someone who has little bit less height. So this seat height reduces a lot for anyone about five to or above can ride very easily. So this is the first one. Uh, really impressed it was good uh, yeah next and a few observations that i made is that so basically the assist works with pedal it's basically a pedal assist bike so if you don't want to pedal then also the bike goes but suppose if you change the modes in between there's three modes so low medium high so suppose from low, you're riding on low without any pedal and if you change to medium then the assist will stop. You have to again pedal back so that the motor starts. So for starting back the motor again you need to start pedaling. So when you change the modes you need to pedal. Other than that uh, after once you start pedaling and it gets the motor starts then it keeps on going. You have to press the throttle to keep it going. If you leave the throttle again it will stop. So first Helio 1 M100 is done. Next, let's move on. This is a mountain bike. Uh, next one will also be the mountain bike. The third bike will be for the city. So, yeah, let me show you a detailed overview of the bike here. So, you can see here we have like for mountain terrain, we have this uh, uh, tire with full grip, high grip, then spoke wheels, disc brakes, both front and back. This one has shock observers are there too. That's the battery and uh, yeah, that's the Shimano gears at the back. Normal Shimano gears. So basically, this is for uh, reducing the speed and this is for, like if you press this, you can see it's 5, 6. And if you just press this again, it will reduce. So that's the gear system. 
and gear system we have six gears for normal pedaling so these are if you normally pedal these are the six gears there are three modes so normally in normal cycle you'll have one more gear here instead of that we have this electric uh, controller so six into three that is why you will see it's written 18 speed this is the m200 which is the advanced uh, mountain bike which is again uh, suitable for both uh, off-roading as well as uh, city biking this comes with 17.5 uh, inch aluminium alloy frame advanced uh, suspension 11.6 ah uh, lithium-ion battery and 250 watts uh, BLDC motor this is also got bigger wheels this comes with uh, alloy shocks as well as lock shocks Achha, on incline it goes on its own only fast both front and back disc brakes even this one like the handle is slightly wider so i'm more comfortable in this and wow. the moment you start pedaling the pedal assist comes into play very easy nimble even the other bike was nimble this is the h200 which is a very slick uh, bike hybrid bike suitable for uh, city riding only it is a very lightweight and uh, elegant bike with uh, 21 inch uh, aluminium alloy frame again uh, like our m200 this has got 11.6 uh, ah battery and uh, 250 watt uh, bldc motor now we are riding the city version so in pricing wise this is in between the m100 and m200 you can see this one has like thinner tires no shock observers in the front so for city riding this is good the other two are for if you want to go off road then that is more better this is very nimble because the tires are small very easy to ride less friction also so you see that sound that is when the motor is engaging then if I don't want to pedal, I press this and the uh, power bike keeps going. Combines the uh, maneuverability of a, of a bike and the fun and, uh, and the wind in the air experience of being on a bike. But then of course the uh, uh, mileage I get because of the battery. I think especially climbing uphill was uh, a very smooth ride and uh, very effortless so I think it just uh, extends the biking pleasure so it was uh, it was actually a pretty exciting experience and how are the controls like easy to use did you have any trouble like figuring out how it's working no once I think uh, you get the pedals going the uh, um, the way to accelerate it is quite simple mm -hmm. uh, and then um, you know, I think I braked uh, from a pretty high speed and it uh, was a good stop mm -hmm. without skidding. I also made a pretty sharp uh, turn uh, and it handled quite nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was not like the wheel was uh, sliding from behind. It, it made a very uh, stable, sharp turn. Mm -hmm. All right. So you will say anyone who can ride a cycle, they, they won't have any problem riding this. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very similar. easy to get a handle on. Mm -hmm. Anything else you would like to add? No, great color, very attractive. Oh, sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Suha Subramanya. Hello. Uh, he's a proud owner of our uh, Helio M200. Uh, we uh, just delivered it uh, to him last week. So he will be sharing his experiences with you now. Uh, hi. Uh, so as you can see, this is the uh, Helio M200 model. And uh, uh, this has been like, it's the bike is with me for a week now and so far the experience has been really great and it's like really exhilarating to uh, get onto this bike use both the pedal as well as the uh, electric motor to travel wherever i want and uh, uh, and also the weight of the cycle as well as the uh, ruggedness is really good for these roads in bangalore here and uh, it's really fun especially with this uh, battery bike which has like three modes a uh, low medium and high you can take any elevated uh, surfaces very easily so it doesn't get tiring at all and I, uh, my wife has also started uh, taking it to work so she likes it 
and it's been a pleasure for her to uh, take it to work which is about four kilometers from here mm -hmm. and has been working very well so we like this bike and also would like to recommend to all our friends so how did you plan like first that i need an electric bike so what was like uh, how yeah. did the idea say i want to bike a sure. um, basically i'm a bike enthusiast but uh, didn't get a chance to go out for long distances mm -hmm. uh, especially because i get tired very easily and and especially if you go out of bangalore for 30 40 kilometers then you need to have a ride back home obviously so obviously you know there was something i was looking for a balance between enjoying the uh, bike ride as well as not getting tired and mm -hmm. this was a very good uh, solution that came along mm -hmm. and i really at that point of time i knew i could have this bike so basically it can uh, help me uh, go long ranges because this uh, battery uh, it has a range of 65 to 70 kilometers and i can switch from the regular uh, pedal mode to the battery mode as and when required so it's not going to be very tiring or too taxing for me at the same time i can just uh, enjoy the bike going around the city mm -hmm. so that was the uh, reason and uh, this has i think served its purpose so how much time does it take like have you charged in the time that you have got the uh, bike? so far uh, we have gone about i would say 35 to 40 kilometers and uh, haven't charged it at all mm -hmm. so since as i told uh, in the beginning it's been a week now mm -hmm. so probably i'll uh, Ride it for another five or six days and then go for the charge. All right, all right. Sure. So, how did you find the company actually? Oh, company, uh, it's been good, and I've been um, showing to my friends also. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were a couple of friends who have expertise in this kind of bike, and mm -hmm. uh, they also took a test ride. And they say uh, for the qual the quality is really good, mm -hmm. and for the weight and um, uh, build, it's uh, really good. So mm -hmm. that's what I got the feedback from my friends who also. Mm -hmm. uh, not to care right on this car. Alright, ah, sure. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Thank you. Also, these bikes are uh, waterproof, so if you are going in rain, uh, you can easily go, no problem. But if the road is flooded, then it's not recommended to go because if the rain is fall like water is falling from top, there's no problem. But if it's trying to seep in from down, then there is problem. So, rain proof, no problem water if you are trying to dip it in water then there is problem so be careful about that if it's raining you keep it outside if you ride in rain no problems at all all right so now i have tested in all the three bikes so m100 m200 and the third one which is a hybrid h200 so this one is mostly for the city riding completely if you are going to ride for the city then this is the right uh, power bike it's not exactly a cycle, you can say it's a power bike because it has that electric assist. So overall, I was really impressed by all the three um, electric power bikes. And if you are, it's basically meant for people who want to ride cycle, but also want an assist so that they can reach their destination faster. Because when you are pedaling that assist, definitely you can feel it. And uh, if you are very tired, then you can use only the throttle. No pedaling is required. Uh, range is varying from model to model so i leave the link to their uh, website in the description and if you want more information you can message them on instagram or facebook you can I'll leave that links also in the description you can for like their page on facebook and follow them on instagram for more updates and like any models any information that they want to share they'll be sharing it on that uh, their instagram and facebook handle and uh, overall i've been very happy few suggestions if i would have given now this bike is meant for a certain purpose but if i had to give a suggestion one of them would be that the throttle suppose if i'm not uh, at all pedaling then the throttle is little bit difficult to like keep on pressing with the left hand if uh, there was an option to keep it pressed only like it will stop there when i press the brake the throttle again comes back that would have been better or maybe a accelerator type um, so that is a small uh, suggestion that I would, I would have but other than that everything has been good and pricing wise uh, approximately I'll tell you for detailed pricing check out the websites around 49,000 uh, the M100 this one the middle one is around 53,000 and uh, the top end one is around um, 57,000 so that is the pricing little bit on the higher side but because it's a cycle come a two-wheeler so you'll spend let's say around 60,000 on a two-wheeler and if you are only going like close by then there's no use of spending that instead you can do exercise as well as whenever you don't want to do exercise just want to go nearby to grocery store 
you can use this also if you are have you have, if you have your office nearby you can use this as a two wheeler so it's a two wheeler proper if nearby if it's very far then not uh, means if you can do if you have that stamina you can do it but nearby let's say around 10 kilometers max you can take this every day plus uh, range is around they starts from around 50 kilometers to around 75 if you are running on low with pedal assist so if it's on high then again it'll reduce little but uh, at least few days you can do extensively means uh, yeah alternate days but uh, the uh, life cycle of the battery is 500 cycles and uh, currently it's being imported this battery uh, the company is trying to like get it here if they can manufacture it here this is the lithium ion top end batteries uh, so good thing and if you want to like if you want a replacement it's readily available cost of the battery is again a slightly higher because electric that battery cost is slightly high uh, for the top end one let's say m200 that is around 21000 and for m100 that is m uh, around 19000 the battery in m200 and this one is the same so that is 21000 currently but as the electric vehicles become more uh, mainstream definitely that cost will come down plus i'll show you one of the things uh, about the battery so this battery that you see uh, it's actually removable so you can go home and charge it this is the lock for the battery so when you remove the key no one can uh, remove it when you have the key you can remove it and while putting back you don't need the key you can just swap it in so basically uh, this part is the battery and it's swappable so if you want you can have two and swap it no issues there and yeah that's it that was the bike also you can see this design of the stand is also a little different thinner tires seat is the same for all it's adjustable height adjustable seats this one doesn't come with any shocks because it's more mainly for the city there is no disc brake and all for city you need basic with more range this gets more range and yeah simple bike simple little power bike so considering 500 cycles you can use this for around let's say two and a half to three years and power it shows here how much power is left so when I switch on this here it will show now it is on full charge so full battery is there one by one if it reduces means power is going down and yeah these are this is how all the connections are so this is all the wire, wiring is done everything is covered and this is how it goes in and charging here is the point for charging I'll show you the charger also this is like normal how you plug into any plug point. So that was my complete review about the Helio range of electric power bikes. Let me know your thoughts about these power bikes in the comment section below. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit on that like button as it took a lot of effort to make this video. So if you appreciate the effort, don't forget to hit on that like button and subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah. That's it. This is Rishabh Chaiti signing off and I hope to see you soon in my next video and drive safe, ride safe and have a great day. Bye bye.